my name is Hannah. Hi, I'm Allison. And we are museum educators at the Clifford Still Museum. Today we are exploring what a discovery could be. So what is discovery? So discovery is when you find out something new or you start looking at something in a different way. So it's like when you're talking to a friend and you find out new facts about them, you are discovering new things that you didn't know before, or you're seeing them in a different way. Hmm. You may not know this, but the Clifford Still Museum has been around for 10 years. That's what we call a decade. Are any of you a decade old? Maybe a half decade? I'm four and a half decades old. During the decade that we have been open, we discovered a lot of new stories about Clifford Still and new ways to look at his art. So even though we've had Clifford Still's paintings for a very long time, we still find new things in the art that we have never seen before. Sometimes you can discover new ways to view old things. Like for example, maybe you have a toy that you really like. Does that toy look different underwater? You discovered a new way to see your toy. And similarly, when looking at art, if you don't know where to begin, you could just pick one area of the artwork to start looking at closely and then move on to another area. I am going to look at PH1184. When I focus on just this bottom right corner, my eyes are really surprised by this color green. I'm seeing a little bit of red in there and pink. I'm wondering, did Clifford still put the green over another color? Wow, I just made a discovery too. I'm looking at a part that is on the top left corner. I'm noticing that there is a red splotch and I discovered that there's a lot of jagged edges. So it makes me wonder how Clifford still painted it. We are going to show you how to make a tool that will make discovering details like this even more fun. we're going to create a small viewfinder. A viewfinder is a tool you can use to change how you see your surroundings. So step one, cut out strips from a piece of cardboard. Then you'll tape your pieces together Maybe you could staple the frame together. And then take your plastic and make sure to cut it evenly with the area that you'll be looking through. Remember to attach the plastic to your cardboard frame. And now you have a viewfinder. If you want to take it a step further, you could even attach a little bit of tissue paper or other items in front of your viewfinder to see if that changes anything. So there's another way we can make a viewfinder and that's using a shape. And there's so many different ways you could decorate your viewfinders. Before we go, we wanted to let you know that if you don't have your viewfinder with you and you're curious about something, you can always use your built-in viewfinder and make it big or small. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our other five minute making activities on our YouTube channel. We would love to see your viewfinders. Share using our hashtag and I can't wait to see what you make.